Last month, I had the chance to travel to San Diego, California for the annual meeting of the Biophysical Society. While there, I would get a chance to present my research and meet with thousands of biophysicists from across the world. This certainly wasn't an opportunity that I could easily pass up, but I had no clue how to prepare for an event like this. Today, I'll be going over some helpful tips on how to prepare for an academic conference. First, let's go over the school-related steps you need to take. Once you've made plans to attend the conference, the first thing you should do is notify your professors of the dates of your absences and provide any requested documentation. From there, you can discuss plans for submitting or making up any assignments you may be missing while you're away. Of course, you'll need to make sure to budget some extra time to stay caught up on schoolwork. I recommend working ahead on any assignments you can to ease your workload while traveling. If you're traveling outside of this time zone, be sure to note any changes in deadlines. Next, let's discuss travel plans. Before this trip, I had never flown, and I wanted to make sure I was prepared for this new experience. If you find yourself in a similar situation, I recommend trying to coordinate travel plans with someone else from your group who is also attending and is a little more experienced with flying. Regardless, I found it really helpful to read up on my trip, what I'm allowed to bring, luggage sizes, what to expect at the airport, parking, traveling to and from the airport, etc. I also wanted to make sure I was a little more familiar with where I was traveling to, so I did some basic research on San Diego before traveling. The great thing about traveling nowadays is that if you have a question, someone else probably already had that question, and most answers are only a quick online search away. Now, let's talk about how to prepare for the actual conference. In my experience, there are so many interesting things happening all the time at these events. So it's important to sit down and read through all of them and schedule your day around the ones that interest you most. For me, that involved going to as many events with free food and merch as possible. But of course, I still have plenty of time to attend all the academic sessions of interest to me. If you're presenting, it's especially important to prepare a poster or platform presentation well in advance and to practice your talk plenty of times beforehand. Conferences often bring in people from across the country and sometimes even the world from across academia and industry, so it's a great chance to network too. Be sure to have an elevator pitch prepared because you never know when an opportunity may present itself. These conferences are also usually in bigger cities that offer a lot outside of just the convention center, and there's usually plenty of downtime to go explore the city or try something new. And you can usually plan these opportunities ahead of time. Academic conferences are a great way to broaden your horizons and learn more about your field of study or work, but they can also be a bit daunting to prepare for. There are plenty of steps you can take to better prepare yourself for these new experiences. I hope this video helps you make it to your conference or convention in one piece and prepared for all the excitement and opportunity that awaits you.